In this lesson, we will learn how to create a new project in GOMO, go through all the various options you have when creating that project, and then do a little tidying up once we're done. When you first log into GOMO, you're taken to the project section. The project section can have project folders as well as individual projects. The way that we can create the project folders is click on Actions, Create New Folder, and then we would give it a name. To create a new project, we can choose Create New Project, or we can choose Create New Project over here on the left. So now we can go ahead and give our project a name. We can give it a description. The resource folder is the default resource folder where all of your project resources such as video, audio, images are going to be kept. It will automatically create a folder with the name of your course unless you choose a default folder of maybe where you keep some of your favorite things. If we want to make sure that this goes into one of our project folders, we can select that here. And then finally, we can select what language we're going to build this particular course in. If I choose single language, I can choose from the, the list here. Or if I want to choose from multiple languages, I can set the different languages that I will eventually have translated. And we can export an XLIF file that a professional translator would then put the translations in, and then we would import that back in. But for now, we'll just do a single language. The next step is to, to uh, select a theme. And the themes are going to set the look and the feel of the course. It's going to select the font size, and style, background colors. Now, those are things you can go in and change later. But this right here allows you to give you a, uh, a consistency across all your training. Also, a nice thing about themes are since they are separate from the content itself, you can create multiple courses using a single theme. And then if maybe uh, you get to uh, have to rebrand everything or you need to change your font style, you can just go in and change the theme and all those courses that were created using that theme will automatically be updated with the new uh, style or branding. So we'll choose origin. Now I can choose the content configuration. Uh, maybe I don't need an introduction topic here because I'm going to create one uh, under one of my subtopics. Uh, these are the different number of topics I can have. I can choose if I want help, glossary, and resources available, uh, accessibility. We'll put on an exit button and we'll put on search. So now this is where I can give access to my colleagues on who I want to have help me build this course. We have three different levels. We've got an administrator which sees everything. Then we have a reviewer, which they can only go in and put comments on the, um, the task of maybe you need to change this on this slide or maybe replace this image on this slide. And then we also have editors, which can go in and make edits to the project. So if I have them turned off, then they will not be able to see this project in their project view when they log into GOMO. So now what the system's doing is it's going in and it's creating this project based on the theme that I chose and it's creating the number of topics that I chose uh, and adding those additional buttons that I put in there as well. So once it creates the project, we'll go in and we'll look at the structure. Then we can kind of go in on the back end and we can rename our, our uh, topics and I'll talk a little bit about how you can change the navigation. Maybe you, you want to go uh, vertically instead of horizontally, or maybe you want to have a continuous scroll. We can show you how to do that. So here is our project, and this number right here is the project ID, 25376. Uh, if I want to go in and now maybe change the name of this first topic, uh, I can right-click on it, go to Topic Settings, I have a production status. I can show that it's either not been started yet, it's in development, it has been completed, or it has been published. Well, we're in development right now. Now, the navigation direction, project default is going to be a horizontal left and right type navigation. Um, and you can also set this to be vertical, where you'll have a, an arrow at the top or at the bottom where you can go up and down. Now, you do need to set this at each topic. 
uh, or you have a final navigation option of displaying with continuous scrolling where you just constantly scroll and it's like one big giant long web page. So we'll go ahead and we'll apply those changes. And now we have the name of our topic has been changed. Up here at the top we have header navigation. At the bottom we have footer navigation. These are buttons that we set uh, when we created the course that we wanted to have in here. Maybe I want to have this progress bar at the top instead of the bottom. In order to eliminate this progress bar button, I just simply right click, choose remove item. Then I can come up here to the top and choose the plus and add it that way. Now this right here is the uh, tree view. It's just a graphical representation of uh, what the course looks like. We also have a list view. Most people though that I talk to tend to like the tree view best. Once you've gone in and you've created your project and you want to see what it look, might look like, you can go to actions. We can either add a new topic. We can import an existing topic from another course. We can add a content bank. This is going to be for our question banks. Preview the project, publish the project, translation export. This is what we would use to export and extract all of the text for translation. Sharing the project, that's so we can create a link or a QR code uh, and have be able to scan that. We could send this to our reviewers for them to be able to log in. And then if you do have certain options, you can transfer this project uh, to uh, another instance. Uh, we do have some customers that have multiple instances of GOMO and they need this feature. So we can just do a real quick uh, preview. And GOMO will load our project and we can then go and see what it's going to look like on a desktop, a tablet, and a smartphone. And we can also do this by landscape mode for the tablet. And of course the desktop will always be landscape mode. And that is how you create a project in GOMO. For any additional videos, please go to our website at gomolearning.com and click on support.